Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about continuous probability distribution. So, we will get a graphical understanding about what is continuous probability distribution. This helps you a lot in understanding our coming classes. In our previous classes, we already discussed about discrete probability distribution. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So, before going into continuous probability distribution, first we should have some basics about uh, integration uh, from plus 1 plus 2. We will revise it for one minute, then we are going to discuss about, we will, re we will revise the concept of discrete probability distribution for one minute. Uh, along with those, we will go with continuous probability distribution. Let us take y is equal to f of x. y is equal to f of x is a function. Assume that this function exi exists from 0 to 8 the function looks like this assume that the function looks like this so from our basic mathematics from our basic mathematics integral of 2 to 5 f of x dx if you do this calculation what will happen what you are going to get you are going to get the area 2 to 5 this is our function under this function what is the area this dotted this uh, lined area which we call it as this is the area it is going to provide so we are going to use this concept in our continuous probability distribution so when you do the integration of integration of 2 to 5 f of x dx means it is going to provide you the area under this curve this function now coming to the discrete probability distribution in our last classes we discussed about let's refresh it once because this helps you a lot in understanding continuous if you take a random variable x x is going to take the values from 0 1 2 3 4 5 means what's the range of x 0 to 5 in this 0 to 5 x is going to take the values 0 1 2 3 4 5 on the x-axis we are taking the random variables on the y-axis we are taking the probability values if you plot the discrete probability distribution this is how it looks like this we already discussed you know when we discussed the discrete probability distributions and the conditions that satisfy discrete probability distributions are given as sigma all x f of x equal to 1 means if you take if you substitute uh, if you take a function if that function is going to provide you the if you substitute zero in the function it is going to provide you the probability values means this value if you substitute one it is going to provide you the probability value if you substitute two provide the probability value sum of all x f of x equal to one sum of all the probability values should be one this is one of the condition it has to satisfy and the second condition is f of x always greater than or equal to 0 there is no negative values for probability so our function has always to provide a positive values if the function satisfies these two conditions then that function can be used as our discrete probability distribution functions we call it as probability mass functions so discrete probability functions we call it as probability mass functions we can use this so these are the basics uh, you have to understand now coming to the continuous probability distribution suppose if you take a random variable x x is going to take the values from range of values from 0 to 5 so x can take any value in this range that is what continuous probability distribution means in discrete probability distribution this is not the case x can take any some few values in between the range 0 to 5 but in continuous probability distribution x can take any value between 0 and 5 x can take 0 x can take 0 0.1 x can take 0 0 1 x can take 0 1 1 any value between 0 and 5 then all, then those type of random variables we call them as continuous probability random variables so in which situations this continuous probability is helpful this we are going to understand in our coming classes first we have to understand what continuous probability distribution means means if you take if you if, if you take a function f of x it, if it looks like this it, this function exists from 0 to 5 if you now now you can take any value between 0 and 5 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.001 any value if you need to distribute the probabilities and 
okay now coming to this uh, if you take this this function the function which we considered here it should satisfy these two conditions integral of 0 to 5 f of x dx equal to 1 means the area under this curve should be 1 our probabilities are distributed among that area because sum of probabilities of our function should be of our discrete random variable should be 1 only those functions which satisfy this property sigma integral of 0 to 5 the area under this curve should be 1 then only we can use those functions as a continuous probability distribution functions otherwise we cannot use that functions so this is the first point only the functions which satisfy the condition can be used in continuous probability distributions so 0 to 5 f of x dx equal to 1 another important point you have to understand so if you distribute our probability values under this curve for the random variable x x exists from 0 to 5 suppose if you find the area of integral of 0 to 0 0.1 f of x dx you will get the area under this curve 0 to 0 0.1 area means probability value that is how our x random variable is distributed under this function based on the area if you got this area means that is the probability value which you are going to get if you have this graphical intuition understanding the next concept is very very easy the functions that satisfies this property is continuous probability distribution functions we call them as a probability density functions so uh, the functions that satisfy the discrete probability distribution characters uh, conditions uh, what we call them as probability mass functions for continuous probability distribution we call them as probability density functions okay now uh, in our next class we will do some practice examples on probability density functions then we will go with uh, some uh, real time examples of normal distribution and uh, gaussian uh, or gaussian distribution hope you understand the concept of continuous random variable if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you